this is some of the organic cottons. I work with a local company here. They're called Psycho Textiles. And this is some bamboo fabric. This is called bamboo film, so it's a quite thin, lightweight jersey. It comes in about 10 different colors. It's antimicrobial, it's quite soft. It's amazing to work with. This is a shirt that I've done. This has got the bamboo fabric. It's right here. It works really well with the, the hosiery fabric. But yeah, this is the soy fabric. It's a much thicker fabric. It doesn't have as much stretch as the bamboo, but it has great breathability, this fabric. An excellent drape. In the last five years, the price of these fabrics have come down considerably. And so I'm able to get it at a wholesale price at under $10 a meter, which is cheaper than some fabrics that come from the rest of the industry. I mean, now you can get this stuff for a fairly inexpensive price. So I really enjoy working with it. It's high quality. It's not like sack material like it once was. The finishing that they're applying to it are quite amazing to give it a much more softer finish and excellent washability too. So this is actually a fabric. It's reclaimed wool and cotton. When during the manufacturing process, a lot of the fibers get caught at the end of the machines. What they do is they collect it so that it can be spun into a whole other new fiber before it's woven into a new fabric. In this case, it's knit, not woven. <laughs> it's something fairly new because they're really trying to utilize everything in the industry. They're trying to use less energy, less water, less chemicals. Natural fibers are becoming a lot more expensive to produce, especially wool and silk in particular. So they're really trying to use it all so that there's no waste. That's I'm always seeking, you know, different innovative fabrics. I was working a lot with these sea cell and crabion fabrics. They're something that's fairly new to the market. They've taken the insides of crab shells as well as shrimp shells and they grind them up and they blend them with, they have to be blended, they can't be 100% fiber on their own, they have to be blended with the fiber. So this has been blended with some organic cotton. This makes it antimicrobial as well, it has excellent wicking properties. They're blending a lot of it with synthetics now because polyesters tend to have a, a bad reputation for A, where they come from, and B, you know, their breathability and so on. And so w when they're being uh, utilized with the, the sea cell or the crabion, you know, it's making it a uh, longer life. They're biodegradable. And that's something that a lot of natural fibers, if they have certain finishes on them, even though they're natural, they're not biodegradable because they tend to put a lot of plastic resins on them. In this case, it is expensive. So, and the company's no longer bringing it in. So, cause it is too expensive at this point. But uh, I plan to work on with more of it in, in the future when I can get my hands on it. So. <clears throat>